Haven't you heard? There's a string. It's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you two. Magnanimous. Yes, indeed, that is true. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. Hmm. It appears I have misjudged you. Supreme brilliance. The glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal. Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? Ah, good. Very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. means we would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. Huh? Could this be? Gebratnis Fleisch meets Sauerkraut? It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. It's been so long since I dug into a big, tasty... Uh, I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is, since it's nearly mealtime, I shall partake. Ah, yes, this aroma, just as I remember it, and this exquisite sour flavor. Mmm, a delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. Now even Paimon's starting to wonder what it tastes like. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. Uh, wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It was meant to be a family secret. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, 
You must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. To see some... friends from a distant land. They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. So he trusts us solely based on your etiquette? Well then, let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. Do you think his friends are the Fatui? Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? More speed. Stabilize! Beg for mercy. Huh? <laughs> Verdict is... <laughs> Order guide you. Shudder! <laughs> Speed of light! Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? Hmm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Let's proceed, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. As you'll see in a moment, there are many already helping us. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. Although it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make due for now. Uh, sorry, um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. 
moving hurriedly is unacceptable. As expected, it's the Fatui! As expected? foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. The Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way! No need to sound all high and mighty like that. Ah, <sighs> fine. You may proceed. Good thing you're with us. They don't dare to question you. <laughs> of course. That is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. We could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. <laughs> and such glory will return to me again before long. Huh. Where have I seen this person before? And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius has been very active in Mondstadt recently. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius... <sighs> Pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. And what about this... thing? Uh... you mean timing? Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me. I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Huh, I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be... Diplomatic consequences, you know. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. 
Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. <sighs> May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all. For now. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? That's right! It's the Honorary Knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! Dust! So this was all just a ploy to deceive me! After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh! We'll see about that! Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them! They're running off in different directions! Paimon remembers that this place is a dead end. Let's take care of the Fatui first and then deal with Chuber later. Uh, looks like I went too far. I will end. The door is open. Let's go. Touch me! Get out of my way! I'll leave on my own! It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans! It's all for naught now! I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you, and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... you unruly maid! If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? Y you dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. The Honorary Knight and I have other matters to attend to. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? 
Paimon took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the Knights' patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. <sighs> More speed! For mercy.
More speed. must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it. But without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh yeah! You suddenly appeared at just the right moment! Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Finally! After all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying! In reality, you sensed that something might happen to us during our investigation. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey, what do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Sure! Well, see you around! That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. Thank you. 